when you talk about the connection with the All Blacks, it's the number one sport in New Zealand. Everyone loves the game. When the game's played on TV, the nation's at a standstill. For me, when you talk what's special about the, the jersey, I don't really necessarily believe in that. I believe in the depth. I believe in the quality of the individual. I believe in the quality of the player. I've played alongside them and I've played against them and I know what it does to you. You know, it inspires you, it puts a little bit of fear in you. They're built for the game of rugby. It's dangerous again! Goes infield for Taylor. Too much for the Aussies. There's always something to play for. You know, I wanted to go for the kill each time I wanted to play because I knew if I didn't, someone was going to take my spot. And the Wallabies, they have something to play for as well. McDermott going himself! Uh, it should be a, another great battle, but they're going to have to perform. And it's the same, the black and the gold jersey, everyone's going to have to perform. Here we go! He can't stop scoring. Callaway is really believe in the Wallabies. You have so much action between these two great rivals, Morgs, and there's been such a storied history when it comes to Bledisloe as well, which sits inside that rugby championship. It certainly does. That's the key matchup of rugby championship. Australia versus New Zealand, the darkness versus the men in goal. Whoa, if we spin it back on the darkness front two morgues to Ballymore 1991, Richard Lowe with the dirtiest bit of action we've ever seen in a Bledders Low. Yeah, after Ouch. Paul Carrozza scores that try. Ouch. Look at the claret. But that well, all that does, that sparks the Aussies, and then five years later, Michael Brawl goes in big time on Frank Bunce. Yeah, and Frank Bunce just says, give it, give it, give it. I'll just I'll just get back in the shell and wait for it. Briley tries to fire up his team. Not many backs coming in to help him there. No, so plenty of aggro, obviously, and obviously the other big thing around Bledisloe time is the Harker as well. And we've seen some memorable and some not so much over the years. Back in 96, the Wallabies thought it better not to face the Harker. They went back and did their pre-game warm-up on the 22 instead of aiming up to it. Neck minute. Suffice to say, it didn't work, Sean. <laughs> Record score and the greats of the game, Marshall, Cullen and that man, Jonah Lomu, had a try for it. It was an absolute disaster on the other side of that one. So record loss on that occasion. And what about memorable moments as far as tackles made? There's only one. There can only be one. George Gregan on Jeff Wilson. The last midweek test at the Sydney Football Stadium. Hoo-ha. Wilson's going to score. Hoo-ha. Four blacks to win. What happened there? That's George, the flash. George that Gregan tackle. out of nowhere. That tackle is what it's known. That will forever be known as that tackle. Gregan on Wilson. As you say, Morgs the last time the Wallabies played the All Blacks midweek. We're going to be doing that again in September. Now to some of the moments in time that have gone right down to the wire between these two sides. They don't get any better than this. John Eels, away from home, in Wellington, in the win, after the bell for the win. Never any doubt. Money. Hands raised. And that, yeah, that was to win the Bledders low. Then he this. misses, they lose. Money. This one, Kefu, in John Eels' last ever test, scores after the bell. Another win. It just became commonplace almost. Yeah, just doing it late, saying it for the last little bit. But then uh, the All Blacks said, oh, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll get on the wrong side of another one in Hong Kong. We'll take it to Asia and get beat after Bell. This time round, James O'Connor. O'Connor with the try and ice in his veins conversion. Oh, Let us low goes to overseas to Hong Kong. What a result for the Wallabies. the year that was. And then we take it back a decade from that. Jonah Lomu in the greatest game ever played in front of 110,000 people at Stadium Australia, the big man getting it done late. So there have been so many classics between these two sides. There's going to be so many more classics to come as part of the Rugby Championship. And you'll be able to see all the action right here on Channel 9 and Stan Sport. And there's plenty more sports Sunday balls coming up after, so after, the, after the break. After the break. After the break. After the break. <laughs>